Hey, how's it going everybody? Today we are going to be installing some mud flaps. I ordered them on Amazon, uh, nothing special. This is for the Tesla Model Y, but I know you can get them for any Tesla version, uh, Model 3, X, S, all that sort of stuff. We're gonna talk about a couple of the main things that I was looking for when I got the mud flaps. I'm gonna show you kind of a quick install. Uh, they kind of just snap in place anyway, and then I'm gonna talk about why we got them. So you guys are watching the tall Tesla guy. Uh, like I said, I ordered these on Amazon. Uh, as you can see, there's a thousand and one different companies that sell these. Uh, the main thing that I was looking for with them, though, is I want no drill. I, I don't want to use any screws or anything like that. So I don't want to have to drill into the car. I don't want to screw into the car or anything. And I like that the car comes with these uh, little push-pop um, uh, kind of rivety looking plastic things and that's actually what's holding everything on inside of the wheel well uh, and then these mud flaps and you can kind of see here now this is the front version um, they, they actually use the same rivet pieces so you have to be really careful when you take them off but they actually run through here and then they pop into place and kind of hold it there and then it's got this little clip here that kind of uh, wraps around the plastic part of the trim. So that part of it's really good. And, and the reason why I'm even looking at mud flaps, um, if you're looking, now the car is dirty, so you have to kind of pass by that a little bit. But if you're looking down the um, actual side of the vehicle, you can kind of see that it actually kind of flares in here. And then as you go back, it sort of flares out again. I'll try to get back here and show you that too. Uh, the car kind of flares out as you get to here. And what's ha what happens, um, we're noticing is that after long road trips, kicking up dirt and rocks and everything from the front tires, everybody that has taken the vehicle on long road trips, they notice that this starts getting real pitted. It starts getting damaged uh, to the point where people put, P put PPF on there to help kind of protect it. Uh, so what I want to do is, um, mainly for the front anyway, I want to help kind of protect this. So I'm putting these mud flaps on it. They're pretty unobtrusive. Uh, they don't stick out very much. In fact, I'll show you guys uh, what I'm looking at here. From a standpoint of, uh, you know, what you have versus what it'll look like when it's done. Uh, you know, basically it's fitting on here like this. You can kind of see that. I like the way that they kind of curve in and you can kind of see here that it just doesn't really stick out that much, which is nice. And that's kind of what I was looking for. I didn't want to have to worry about it when I went over curves. I didn't want to have to worry about it when, you know, I'm driving or anything like that, you know, really majorly affecting my range. I wanted to almost them to almost look like they were seamless, you know, OEM, all that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to show you guys, uh, now I did do the front ones on the driver's side already. I'm going to show you guys the passenger side. I got a couple of tips and tricks that I used for them to get them off. So one of the advantages of this one, honestly, uh, is you get these rivet, these plastic rivets. And these, now these are a little bit longer than the ones that you have with Tesla, which are nice. So it gives you a little bit more secure, you know, kind of uh, station there. Now what this also has in here too is a plastic type of screw that actually screws in there. And as it screws in there, you can kind of see it spreads it out a little bit there. They also give you this funky little uh, miniature screwdriver. I can't imagine anybody doesn't have a screwdriver, but it's nice that they include this. And then, uh, and then you're kind of, uh, kind of off to the races. Because one of the challenges that I found is that the the Tesla rivets, the ones that they give you, are actually really, really small. And I feel like you hit a bump and they're going to pop out. So using these will actually make it a lot better. Uh, one thing I'll also recommend is getting a teeny little screwdriver because you're going to notice once you get in there, taking those Tesla rivets off, you want to make sure and not break them just in case these ones don't work. But getting those Tesla rivets off there, uh, it's difficult to do without a um, you know a mini screwdriver. And then you need a 10 millimeter uh, wrench for the back of it. And that's kind of what I have here. So we're just going to jump in and, and get this off and then kind of go from there. I'll try and show you what I'm doing uh, if I can. So these are the, um, the rivets that I was talking about. And you actually kind of just pop them off and you'll see that these are the these are the tesla ones so they are actually really really short but it uh it does the trick for what's in there now so we're going to go in and pop off both of them we're going to get out two of these uh included screw things now these are plastic but at least they won't uh won't rust away and you can actually see the difference here so this is the one that they provided this is the one that tesla gives us uh, you know, we've got maybe a um, quarter inch more, which is nice. Just gives us a little bit more, uh, you know, strength and stability in there, I guess. 
So we are gonna get going. You know, we just basically align this up. I put this little clip on here. You'll notice that there. So really the uh, the clips that they sent with the mud flaps actually just pop right in place. And I'll kind of show you what it looks like uh, now that they're on there. You can kind of see uh, they're pretty unobtrusive. They don't stick out too far. They have a nice kind of shape to them. Uh, makes them look OEM there. They're pretty snug into this uh, that I think anyway. And then uh, they should do the trick for me. So um, they, they're pretty solid. But they've got a little bit of give too. So if I go over a speed bump or something like that, I don't have to worry about it breaking off. I am going to save the Tesla clips just in case, but uh, we're going to move to the back and then go from there. So this is uh, is kind of the tricky part. So one of the things you're going to know, and you'll see people talking about this, on the back, you actually have a screw underneath. There's an undermounted screw underneath the car that uh, kind of holds the, the mud flap, but it's actually holding this trim piece in place. And the downside to it is a lot of people had that screw just kind of break off when they were taking it off. Now, I got lucky on the driver's side. Um, I hate to uh, say it out loud just in case it doesn't come true on this side, but um, I'm hoping that it uh, it stays together and I'm, and I'm good to go there. So we're just going to do the same, follow the same process we did in the front, in the back here, and then we are, uh, we are good to go. So I'm going to jump it through. This one's even a little bit harder to see with some of the, uh, the lighting that we have here, but... Uh, if you can kind of see in there uh it's the same kind of function it's got a uh uh there's a clip here now this is the tesla clip pops off just the same and then this is the screw that everybody hates talks about right there so we are going to go after it and see what we can get it's being really particular with this one i don't want to snap it off i got lucky twice and i'll put a link down in the uh, description uh the, the company name is dcegf I'm not sure what they were trying to get with that. Uh, it, like I said, it's on Amazon. Um, it came from overseas. It took about three weeks to get them, but um, but they had them. The quality, I would say, is about the same of any other ones that I've seen. So we'll see how they hold up. But uh, so far, so good. So back one, as you can tell, I would question if you actually need a back one, but. Uh, Nonetheless, I am going for it. You don't want to over tighten that, of course, but like I said, it, it just it really gives it a, a super clean look. We are golden. It's got a, I mean, it's got a really, it's got a really solid uh, feel to it, and you can kind of see them here. You see there, it's got the, uh, it's got a nice flow to it. it. It even curves around the, the bumper, the fender. Um, you know, looking at the front, you can kind of see that as well too. It gives it just enough protection to not uh, not damage the side of the car. So, like I said, I'll throw the link down at the bottom just so you guys can see it if it's something that you guys are interested in. I think they look good, but I'll let you guys know how they go and then uh, go from there. So, if you haven't already, think about liking this video, think about subscribing to the channel. But um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, week, month, everything, and you're staying safe out there. Thanks for watching, guys.